Uh, greetings, Aquarius, and welcome uh, to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well. And to my new viewers, uh, thank you, and let's dive right in. And to um, all of those who subscribe to my channel, I appreciate that. And uh, all of your comments are amazing. So let's see what it is that we have today for this intuitive reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Take a moment to look at this um, sacred image of the stone of a um, petroglyph, something from the ancient ones, flowering. And there's water coming into this area of your life because it's your destiny. Uh, it's your destiny at this time, Aquarius. Your act of power is the key of your destiny. To find your act of power is to live your dreams. What would you do if you could do anything, Aquarius? Discover what that is and then do it. To find your power is to find your destiny. So this is a card today and a reading of destiny. Whenever you find this Aquarius, it's meant for you. And so it is. And let's see what it is that the cards have for Aquarius today. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading. There could be something about a sacred flute, about something coming together, the quaternity of the four directions, the four elements, the four seasons. And so it is. And this is for you, Aquarius. Where you're coming upon a, a, this sense of destiny uh, because there is a change on the horizon. You're seeing the dark and the light sides of your situation, of your uh, journey forward, of what this life unfolding is for you out of your dream. You've been balancing and juggling a lot of energies recently, being very flexible, maybe working hard and playing hard, or working at two jobs at this time. Uh, maybe you have seasonal work, and then you're also doing uh, work uh, that is creative, that is um, in the helping profession, perhaps. But a change is coming, and it's going to take you uh, towards your destiny. You see, there is this long a trajectory forward, and the path is clear now, Aquarius. And it's coming because of the chariot. You're moving um, with this determination. Uh, you're allowing this change to come. You're going with the ups and downs of life, and you're uh, using your willpower to understand those shadow elements of yourself, um, those parts of yourself that you're uh, not proud of, but also the ones you are very proud of, you're very connected to. And you're blending those so you can move forward toward your destiny with triumph. You're moving away from a time, a place where you are known by others, maybe the familiar. Uh, family, uh, old friends, a town you've been in for many years, but there is a change coming. And it's coming because you've got the vehicle, you've got the movement to take it forward now. And it's coming, um, you could be moving. This is a change, and the chariot is going to take you to a, a whole new place. You're going to be um, moving toward your uh, destiny. And it's coming because what is the change that the chariot is bringing? Well, you have to go inward and use introspection. This is the um, Knight of Cups. You're going inward uh, to receive a blessing about this movement. You're having to rest and renew, but in a spiritual uh, way about your heart about what is true, what you really, uh, as this question said, um, Aquarius, what would you do if you could do anything? And you're going inward to see what it is you really love, what is inspiring you, what is coming up from your dreams at this time. And that will help you through introspection to find your power and that power of love, that power of a creativity, of feeling. And the feelings, when we have a feeling of joy, of positive love, of that energy, that raises our vibration. And you're um, going to have introspection on the Eight of Swords. 
you're, you're looking deeply at this um, feeling of um, being isolated, being restricted. Um, this is also looking at any kind of self-sabotaging uh, behavior that comes because our minds are uh, cluttered. We're not um, focused. We're not. We're letting ourselves be distracted. Maybe by the way we um, let other people interfere with our uh, minds, with the way we think about ourselves. And you're changing that because you're moving forward. You're seeing yourself clearly. Yes, we all have our shadow and dark sides, but as we take those together through introspection and begin to love ourselves and understand ourselves in a new way, we know that oh, we could um, do anything. Anything's possible. And it's, what's possible is this manifestation. Because you have um, another, uh, this is the Princess of Pentacles, where you have an opportunity that is being presented to you. A new offer. This could be an offer, a new offer of a relationship that you're going to move toward quickly with a lot of confidence and willpower to manifest what it is you want to bring down here. Uh, and it's going to, you're going to manifest this as you move out of this isolation, move out of any kind of worry, fear, feeling like you're imprisoned, uh, that you're hindered by somebody else. But you're going to have to discover what it is that you would do if you could do anything. And that is what you're being offered, this opportunity to manifest that. And it's going to bring you to a whole new destiny. And it's coming because of the, the fool. Well, you're starting this whole new beginning with this beginner's mind. You're stepping out into a whole new reality. You're taking only what's on your uh, just, you have everything you need. Uh, you see sh this figure, she's going into the future with nothing but her a nakedness. That's the truth of who you truly are. And that's your destiny. And you're going to begin this journey um, with uh, this new spiritual quest to manifest. And the manifestation could be to manifest freedom, uh, to move out of this isolation, and to uh, move out of these negative beliefs that keep you held back in prison, trapped. Uh, and you might not even really be that trapped. This could be all in your own mind. But you're starting over. You're looking at this uh, totally differently. And you're going to um, just maybe look like a fool to others. But you're stepping out towards your destiny. And it's coming... Uh, with a resilience, the nine of wands, where you're going to stand your ground for this. You might have been uh, trying this for maybe uh, nine months. And you're saying, okay, I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to use my inner courage and resilience. Even though I've been uh, maybe beaten down, uh, you've, a change is coming. And you're going to be resilient as you get out of this uh, sense of isolation. And uh, that's what I have for you, Aquarius, at this time around your destiny. And let's see what it is that the angel aura wants you to know. You have the number nine. Well, nine, you've got the nine here as well. So there are two nines coming. That's saying you're coming almost to completion, and this is a spiritual completion that's going to push you towards your destiny. Um. An act of power comes from a place of passion within your deepest being, Aquarius. It's an expression of your totality of who you are in the world. And then you're beginning that. You're beginning to really express your true power. And that's the power of freedom to begin your spiritual journey and to a stand up for this and to see that you've been resilient all along. And that is bringing in this color of turquoise. That could be an important color to you at this time. Turquoise and gold. So what will help you come to this destiny is forgiveness. Is seeking your true destiny at this time. Following your dreams. To find that freedom and healing. And it's coming because of a self-employment. 
You're going to be committed and resourceful and confident and re rewarding. And you got this a sense of uh, resilience and resourcefulness toward um, self-employment, Aquarius. That's your destiny. And that is what I see for you today. Uh, you're going to um, be confident and rewarded uh, for whatever this is that you're letting go of um, and healing and forgiving. And that's what I have. And it's, you're moving quickly toward that new beginning. And this beginning is going to bring you uh, an opportunity to manifest your destiny. And that's what I have for you, Aquarius, today. And thank you for your subscriptions and your thumbs up and comments. And you know I love you. And we're in this interconnected field. All of us are moving toward our true destiny of uh, the age of Aquarius. Um, harmony and understanding, a sympathy and trust abounding as you go toward this a totally new beginning. And it has something to do with your self-employment. And so it is. And see you next time, Aquarius. Bye-bye.